Okay, these two goats are twins. Mm -hmm. The mother, we can't see it because it died. Yeah. But when we looked at it, when we recorded it in the book, we could, it was clear it had bore blood. It was white with a brown head. Yeah. But it was mated to Kabuye's dairy goat male, yeah. uh, that white one. Now what we're seeing in the offspring, one has come out nearly white, yeah. but interestingly the head's a bit darker, that's the influence of the boar blood. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one has come out brown like a Toggenberg, almost perfect Toggenberg colouring on this one. Mm. Um, so we know the father then wasn't a pure Sarnen, it was actually a mixture of Sarnen and Toggenberg. Mm -hmm. But in the kids, when you've got a crossbred father in any sense, mm -hmm. then the kids you don't know how it's going to come out. It illustrates an important point of, of, of heritability. Just as this one has got brown and that one's got white, from the same father, the same if, the, if a parent is half dairy, half local, the milk can come out in one goat and not in the other one. Interestingly, the same thing has happened with the ears. The mother was part boar and we have the big ears from the boar in this one, but that one, we wouldn't know. The mother could have been a local goat looking at the size of those ears. On, on this one, the stripes are very clear. Yeah? yeah. Um, like it was on the other male. Those are typical of the Tolkenberg breed of goat, those face stripes. This one has horns, but they're very small, but the, the horns are growing. Yeah. The father has naturally has no horns. Yeah. You will find half of the offspring have no horns and half have horns almost exactly so this one it happens that it, it has it has horns now is it a, it's a female